Oh, there's a good fish, Marlon. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Here. Here. Showtime. Keep That's a up. stud. Woo! Yeah. That's a good eater. There it is. That's a perfect eater size walleye. Oh! oh. <laughs> he was freaking there. He was there. There he is, fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at old red eye. Probably, what do you think, pound and a half? Oh, oh, oh. Big wally. Oh, that's a good eater. There we go. What up? What it is? Dude, look at you. You're like <laughs> running a fully guided outfit right here. Come aboard, come aboard. What is up, addicts? Welcome to another episode of Addicted Life. Today, we're out on an unnamed river. That's right. Fishing <laughs> for some walleye with Papa. Papa's been out here having some fun, whacking some walleye. You been doing good, dude? Yeah, it's been pretty good. I mean, you know, it was real good last week and it's been a little hit and miss, but definitely enough fish to go out and have some fun and maybe bring home some fish tacos. Hell yeah. Well, guys, make sure if you're new to Addicted Fishing, tap that subscribe button. Please turn on those bell notifications. Every single Sunday, we're putting out an episode of Addicted Life. So thanks so much for tuning in. Let's whack some walleye. Let's get them. Little worm harness action. Yeah, today, today, addicts, we're going to actually be doing some tutorials on the water today. So you're going to get a little behind the scene looks of us filming these tutorials out on the water during this Addicted Life. And hopefully you'll learn something and then you can get out here and whack some walleye. Make sure you guys drop a comment below. Have you ever fished for walleye? Do you like walleye fishing? Drop a comment and give this video a little thumbs up, please. So what you're gonna, Charles, have you ever done this? No. Oh. So you're just gonna drop it down to the bottom. You want that thing dragging, but not like super dredging, you know? So just kind of get it down on the bottom. Now when they eat, you're gonna catch a lot of other fish too, like cat food, bass, stuff like that. But when they eat, there's two different kind of types of bites you're gonna get. One, they're gonna just like tap, 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 you know, and get heavy on it. Or the other one, they'll just literally get heavy and it'll kind of look like you're dragging bottom, but you can just tell there's a little weight there. And it's what I do is I typically reel into them first, you know, and then pull it out of the rod. Yeah, you don't have to set the hook. You can give it a teeny little hook set. Or like I've noticed that when you set the hook, you almost always lose almost it. Almost lose them, yep. Oh yeah. This is the juice right here. Yeah, pull that out and put it on one. Let's put this on one. This will be the one that gets bit. So when you're setting these guys up, everyone, all I do is put just a little bit on the beads. So I'm gonna take this probe here. Here, I literally like the super sticky. This stuff works really good. Oh yeah, you got that. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on these beads here. First fish on board. This is a <laughs> this is a young walleye. <laughs> this is the old mud sculpin. Trashy fish. If you lose the tail of your worm, you want to change. Like you need a new bait. You want that tail hanging back. They, for some reason, they won't eat it if it don't got a tail on it. That's a fish, I think, uh, Charles. What's he got? Little Walter. Little Walty. Oh, my first little walleye. That's your first walleye? Yeah, how cute. Oh, look at that. Charles got his <laughs> first walleye. Let's make sure we get a nice big trophy shot of that. You want to come hold it, Charles? Yeah, they got spines walleye. on their back. But... Ooh. We'll find its dad, his mom, grandpa. <laughs> See you later, Wally. That's a little small. We don't want to eat that one. So, Pop Off, what's the deal with the walleye in here? Why are people so afraid to eat them? So, I think that the most people think they're resident fish, but from everything, everyone I've talked to, and you know, the thing is, is nobody knows a lot about the walleye in here. Like, nobody knows where they go in the winter. Nobody, nobody knows where they're, you know, where they stage at. It's very unknown. They just kind of show up. And, Everything I've found is that they're a migratory fish that they come out of the Columbia everything You know all the fishing game people I've spoke with and stuff about them So 
the biggest fear is that people think they're a resident fish you know you're not supposed to eat a bass or i would you know me personally i wouldn't eat a bass or a catfish out of here but you know a walleye like they have high mercury, levels. high mercury levels and just you know they and you can even see like on the fish we'll catch today like some of the you know whether it be a smallmouth bass or a catfish you know you'll see that they have they just they, their fins are all beat up and it's kind of gross looking but then you catch a walleye and they're just pristine you know all their scales are there their fins are nice and clear and you can i mean you can tell they're you know a migratory fish that isn't resident oh there's a good fish marlin that's a good one. oh yeah that's a good one that's the right kind of yeah, he's, walleye. it's fighting a lot like a walleye pop off and it feels nice just hammered down dude just fight just like a good wall i should is your drag Ooh. set good here yeah it should be back off a little yeah because he's wanting to pull yeah. Ooh, what do you got bubba <laughs> fighting a lot like a wall like so one key thing to this addicts especially these bigger fish is you cannot just horse them in you got to oh. just reel them slow and just let them do their thing i don't, I don't know if that dude he's god he's big whatever it is Oh, he's taking drag. Dude, this got to be bigger than a walleye. This is a walleye. It's a giant. Yeah, I'm hoping it's a walleye. Oh, right, cheers. It's showtime. It is a nice walleye. It's not even that big. No, it's not. Keep That's it a stud. Woo! Yeah. That's a good eater. Dude. That's what we're after right there. Are we going to keep some fish? I think so, yeah. yeah. There it be. Nice job, Marlin. That's a nicer one, dude. Yeah. yeah, that's what we're after. So there it is. That's a perfect eater size walleye. And just like he was talking about, I mean, that thing looks. I mean, you look at it, it's got perfect fins, all with no sores or anything on it. I mean, just pretty, pretty good looking fish. I mean, they're predatory fish, too. These things are, you know, predators. They're down on the bottom fighting and, you know, yeah. aggressive. But that's a great eater, about 21 inches, 20 inches, somewhere in there. Typically, we keep them from anywhere from about 17 18 inches up to 24 inches the bigger fish I, i've never eaten a bigger one but i've been told that they kind of they, they get mushier kind of like a big halibut or yeah. something you know so one for the box boys i'm not gonna lie the first time i ever started fishing in here pop up i go up to that spot and i just i bonked every single i had a 10 pounder in there an eight pounder a seven and a half and i went home you know i didn't i just was like oh i'm gonna eat some walleye you know and i filleted all those out they were disgusting they were not good you could substantially tell the difference between like the 14 to you know the 12 the smaller ones versus the big ones they they were mushy they tasted kind of muddy almost and then of course tj it's like you know freaking out on me because i killed those fish and i didn't really know anything i'm just like i don't know dude i thought we were supposed to kill these things they eat our damn salmon you know what's funny is out of all the fish I've ever caught, I've never caught one with a salmon in its stomach. Oh, we're gonna cut th that stomach open to that walleye and find out oh, what's yeah. in it. Yeah, oh no, I agree. Yeah. What do I you guys think? All you people watching, you think that walleye's gonna have any salmon or steelhead small in his belly? We need to let that be known. That oh. that was on that. Oh it was. Okay. Well, let's wait well. though, let's wait, let's do yeah. it again and yeah. it gets bit again. That is true. Tell you what, it looks like walleye fishing, you go through a lot of worms. Dude, I go through about, I, I try to bring about two dozen a person. <laughs> it's crazy, because you get so many like, you know, you get so many like bass, like catfish. Have you ever tried using any like artificial, like rubber scented worms or anything? Does no, it but here's a funny thing. So my client yesterday told me that the biggest walleye he's ever caught was on an addicted pink worm. <laughs> Uh, he said he ran out of bait and and he didn't have anything else so he just put on a worm and that's what he got it on. <laughs> small for eating but still a beautiful fish look at the teeth on that thing 
even for that small of a fish, it's got that crazy teeth. Let him go. Let him go, let him grow. What, do you? You do. No, I do. Look at that. Starry-eyed flounder. Who would have thought these were in here? What a cool little fish, though. Look at that thing. It's actually, if I hold it real close, will you guys think it's a halibut? I need like a little G.I. Joe figure, you know, to hold it and I'll be like, dude, got one. A little starry-eyed flounder. See you, buddy. We're gonna go put our little wall Walter in our con cooler up here on some ice, keep him nice and fresh. Slide right past here, Charles. Careful with our lunch, dude. Yeah, I'll keep it. Oh, no, sir. There he is. Nice ball. He was freaking there! He was heavy too. Are you joking? Those are the best bites too. Those ones that they get heavy like that and hang on it. Oh my god. I mean, I couldn't set the hook. No. I probably would have just ripped it out of him anyway. Damn it! Dude, also, garlic. that's garlic again. I think we should garlic one of the other rods just to test Carl, it. Bring yours in the garlic in. Oh, look at that! <laughs> That was like literally almost in the same spot, Nick. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I was saying is yesterday, once I found them, you got to troll around and find the little pack of them because they really are in just like a, and this is also a bronze blade. Typically when you find these fish, they're like, you know, real convinced. Like, yep. Oh yeah. I did the, did the, the I should have set the hook on that other one. I think that other one was there too, pop off that first one. Yeah, yeah. Mine's putting the feet down. I'm just gonna keep reeling this while I in. He's trying to pull away, but I'm not gonna let him. Oh no! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm telling you what though. I'm about to put some of that garlic on. They're <laughs> munching that garlic. I'm telling you, dude. Damn it, addicts. what I do wrong there? I know what I did wrong. I didn't take my own. And advice. So you can't try to horse them in if they pull out like that every single time. Dude, look at that worm. Look at oh, that. look you at that. You think they have teeth, dude? Just shredded. I think this one just got bit. Dude, that was another good one. I know. Fish on, pop off. Fish on. Yep. Hey, man, you're smashing. Oh, look at Oh, that's nice. Tricked all you guys, including <laughs> myself. Oh man, what species you guys think that is right there? Let me tell you guys what happened. I had a fish on, and then as I was reeling, it popped off, and I snagged this as I, as I was reeling in. Secret walleye bait going to get deployed here real soon. Dude, if a coconut hit this, you can't tell me a walleye ain't gonna crush it. Go ahead and reel them up and pull those sea anchors in, and we're gonna go back up and put Big Daddy Warbucks on the map here. Dude, you cannot tell me that ain't gonna work. Marlin. Dude, and it's stuff. Let's see what it looks like. Oh God, get out of here. Oh my God, that's <laughs> big. Dude, it's like a, it's like a crank slash, I don't know what it is. That is a genius idea, Marlon. Game time. This is what we used to jig them? Yeah. Right, yeah. Put that on it. Good. <laughs> what is this from? Rockfish? Yeah. Enter the dragon. Oh my. Marlon, that's genius, dude. Oh my god, look at it just spinning. It's getting bent, guaranteed. If not, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Game on. Sean, just focus on we'll this rod. 
We unlocked the best walleye fishing lure ever. Mm. I thought it got crushed instantly. <laughs> I was <laughs> about to lose it. Dude, I guarantee it's gonna work. It is identical concept, dude. I got one too. It's little, super little. Mine's, mine might not be a walleye. It's really small, whatever it is. Oh, it is a walleye. Got him! Oh, my dick came off. Oh, okay. The first fish you ever. Oh, it just came off, I think. Oh, starting like flounder like oh. that. <laughs> Not the target species. Not what we're after. Fish is a fish in my butt. That'll eat. They're really cool They're looking. Really good. They are out in the bay and stuff. They get. We used to catch them in Alaska, right off our dock. Oh, this feels like a decent one. What do you got on the old feels, feels right. The old I think so. Yes. Uh, catfish. Oh, it works for catfish. <laughs> Channel cat. I mean, these things just catch anything. Look at that fat porker. I live, little buddy. No big deal. Herbert fires for the win. Good one. Nice and easy. Drag back to drag off a little. Oh, it's yeah, back to the back fish. That's a hammer. Channel cat. Like you get to the point where you know all this is established. Where's my big walleye? Come, we can't get one. Oh, he's still there on the brass. Oh, it's decent. Whatever it is. Ooh. Yeah, that thing's been getting bit a lot. Dude, what is this? It's heavy. Oh, it is a good walleye. Is it a catfish again? Dude, this is the best catfish in the world. Look at this big old chunky channel catfish. Look at the spots on that thing. That's cool. They are cool fish, dude. For any of you guys that don't know, these catfish have like extremely poisonous spines coming off their peck fins right there. Right on the tip of that thing and then also right off the tip of their dorsal fin here. And they hurt. But we'll get this little guy back. Hi, buddy. I'm gonna start a catfish charter, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good at it. <laughs> Just deploy five mini cut plugs. Five mini cut plugs, add worm, and get ready. I want to catch like a 20 pounder. I don't care what anyone says. Well, that carp we caught the other day, that thing fought hard as hell. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go give it one more troll over in this little section over here. One long, good, rebaited, rescented. Everyone's gonna be dialed. If we get a Walter, God's telling us we just need to stay there and catch some fish. If we don't, we're gonna go find some big daddy canes. I'm gonna show you guys how to work a worm harness here. While he's doing that, comment below, what's the biggest walleye you've ever caught? And if you've never caught one, let us know down below. Don't forget, Nick Pop off Peel the Real Guide Service. If you guys wanna get out here and kinda of learn more of how it's done out here, or how to catch walleye, or if you just wanna come catch some fish tacos, give Nick a call. We'll put the number right down here below. You'll see it pop up. Peel the Real Guide Service, you can do walleye salmon. What other things you got coming up going, dude? I'm gonna be moving. I'll do this for about three weeks till the third week in July, and then I'm headed down. I think me and Cam are doing a trip at the end of July for some ocean coho, and then I'll be doing Astoria at Buoy 10 all the way through. So uh, we've got a big coho projection, and uh, I think it's gonna be super, super good. The ocean's been really good so far, and I think that that's always kind of your telltale sign of, you know, if it's going to be a productive season or not, it's looking really dang good, so I'm excited. Okay. In the meantime, we're going to kill walleye. Yep, walleye fishing. You know, that's my theory of why I don't go salmon fishing out in the ocean right now. Because the, the, sam, the, the silvers out in the ocean are about three pounds. <laughs> right, four pounds, five pounds. You catch walleye that are five pounds sometimes. Dude. I am going to limit out on catfish and flounder. 
I'm gonna see if I can fish this upper side. Most of it I usually fish is down there, but. This is the hot spot, Nick. That's where all the giants are. Huh? That's where all the giants are. This is usually where the bigger fish are, yeah. It's just so snaggy in here, is the only problem. That's a Walter. That's oh, yeah. Here, Charles. Get him, get him, Charles. That's a Walter for sure. Catfish. Catfish. <laughs> What is going on? Catfish charger. <laughs> There's lots of catfish out here. All right, guys, we're super excited. We actually were just cruising along. And we ran into someone on the bank, and he offered to bring you a exclusive addicted fishing tutorial. So we're going to bring him on the boat. He's going to give an exclusive tutorial for you. So let's check it out right here. Hey, what's up guys? Clint Laurie here from Garden Frugal. Man, it was so crazy. I saw these guys out here walleye fishing and I thought, what a great opportunity to show you guys how to grow a pineapple. So before we get started, comment down below, hashtag Garden Frugal. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut this pineapple open, we're gonna take a seed out of it, and we're gonna show you guys how you can grow a pineapple just like me at your house. Garden Frugal, baby. Fish in. Here, Charles, reeling this catfish. <laughs> it probably is catfish. Catfish charters. Walleye. Hold on. On the cup plug. It's eating its own kind. Oh, he won't let go. Not yet. Dude, he won't let go. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I wonder what how big this catfish is. <laughs> On another episode of Catfish Charters with Nick Popoff. Right, no kidding. Oh, there you go. Throw it up now. Ooh, I think it is a catfish. Jesus. Got a marlin on here. Get it? <laughs> what are you guys waiting for, dude? The kokanee cup plug's tearing it up. It this, is, dude. This might be a good one, actually. If this is a walleye, it's a nice one. Double. Yeah. Oh, he came off! Dude! That looked like a good one, too. Dude, be a walleye, because this thing's pretty heavy. God <laughs> damn! What is going on? I hate my life, dude. Oh my They're getting bigger, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Marlon was wishing we had a big run of catfish. Well, we do. Jesus. They're getting bigger. Look at this catfish, dude. Catfish charters. If you guys want to get out and catch some catfish, peel the reel. <laughs> oh, there's nice one. Nice one. Oh, this is even a bigger catfish. God, it's even a bigger catfish, guys. Get the net. This one feels a little different than the last one. This one might not be a catfish. It's a catfish. Oh, it's a walleye. It's an actual walleye. That's really old. That's a keeper, a 17 incher. Um, our pineapple's done growing now. Clint grew this one for us. Well, yeah. How do you? Does anyone know how to cut open a pineapple? I don't even know. What do you do? You got to do something special, or you just freaking? We need Clint back on board to tell us how to cut into this pineapple. Oh my god, this thing smells so juicy and good. Clint does a good job at growing pineapples. Dude, I use this Gerber knife for everything, I'm telling you. Clint done good. Good job, Clint. This is good. I don't want to touch it with my wormy ass hand, so. All right, addicts, getting kind of midway day here. It's getting super, super hot. We're gonna 
kind of start to wrap up this episode. We banged out a few walleye, but we're gonna go down here and give it probably another hour of hell. But before we do that, Popoff is gonna show you. I know before we did the little, uh, Clint came on board and introduced himself <laughs> to you all. We were gonna show you how to rig these worms up. So Popoff is gonna show here real quick how we're doing this here. So basically is what I have here is I have a two hook setup, just like a mooching rig. I just tie it fixed setup about three fingers, three finger lengths apart. And those those are the bait are those the bee cooks from us yeah yeah cooks? so okay. they're just bait bee cooks and essentially all i do is i take these the the night crawler on the dark side of the head i'll try to turn sideways so you can see here and i go right up in the top nose of the hook and i go about half an inch in and i pull it up and slide it back so you have that original hook there and you always got to remember your worm's going to stretch out in the water so i go about three quarters of the way down the body here and then I just grab a small portion of the, the worm. They're a little slimy, so. And then just roll it out like that. And then your worm is gonna lay like that in the water. And it's okay if you have a little bit of slack line in here because this worm is gonna stretch out as, as you put it in the water. So you can see there it's stretched tight. It's real important that you have that long tail on there. If that gets bit off, change your worm out, keep fresh bait on and It's a pretty effective way to fish. And I think we'll be doing a few tutorials for you guys to check out, so stay tuned. <laughs> you even know you had them on? Yeah, I've seen it hit, and then I was like, oh, what do we got here? And I let it go. Not a boy. Good guy. bigger. We're getting bigger, ladies and gents. The old starry. I thought it was bouncing. How? It these guys get hooked every time. It's like inevitable. It's a cool fish. Are you? That was big. Something small is biting it now. Got him. <laughs> Tiny little feller. He's heavy, all right. All right, guys, final update. It is 1.30, almost, is it two? Yeah. Oh God, it's two, time flies. Uh, we're gonna give it one more pass, and then I think we're gonna wrap it up, call it a day. Wasn't super good, we found quite a few fish, just not the size we were looking for, so maybe well, this dude, pass. It was all about the catfish today, really. Yeah, I mean, we got a bunch of catfish. you guys wanna get out for a catfish trip, make sure you guys hit up Nick Popoff, Kill the Real Guy <laughs> Tour, so get you on some nice channel cats out here. Yes, big <laughs> channel cats. <laughs> <laughs> but stay tuned, guys. We'll uh, hopefully find a couple more before it's over. And we still have some tutorials to film, so you make sure you guys stay tuned for those. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Turn on those bells if you are a subscriber, because we have a whole bunch of awesome tutorials and how-tos and some pretty cool adventures coming up that you guys are gonna wanna see. What do we have? Ooh, it's a good one. I think it is a catfish. It's gotta be a catfish. Here, I'll come out right here. It's an edge, Charles. We might have some freaking wallery. Wally's oh, 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 judgment day. Oh, oh, oh. He's taking line. What is it? <laughs> Almost. Get some eyes on it before we lose it. <laughs> He's taking drag. It looks like a catfish. Is it really? I think so. I don't know. No, it's a big walleye. It's a walleye. Big Wally. Oh, that's a good eater. That's the one we're there we go. Feel the reel. Call me if you want to catch walleye. <laughs> Just give me a jingle if you want to go out and catch a few walleye. Ooh, that's a perfect eater. About 22 inches, 20, 20 inches probably on that one. There he is. Nice. He is in all his glory. All his glory. Dude, they are cool ass looking fish. They're awesome. Tips on their tails. Yeah, see how they have that white tip tail. They also get white tips on some of their other fins too. See how he's kind of got tipped out white tips. Fish on left oh. rod. Uh, 
Oh, Charles lost him. Bye, Dang Charles. it, dude. We're staying four more hours now. Bye, Tom. We got instant blood. All right, so here's the update. We did get one more keeper walleye, and Charles probably lost four or five, but <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a 1v1 challenge here. We're gonna go bass fishing off this rock pile because they don't believe me that I can catch one here. So it's me versus Charles, first one to hook up. Here's what needs to happen. Here's what I'm gonna do. If Popoff catches a bass on this freaking rock pile, Give I'm up. gonna get him two brand new walleye Okuma dead eye trolling rods. Because I don't believe dark. <laughs> I don't believe that he can catch one off this rock pile. I just don't. Right. I've been to this damn rock pile so many times and I never catch anything off this freaking rock pile. I took Tito Montemore out here from Okuma out here fishing with me one time and he brought out this stick bait and I watched him cook like nine off this rock pile. But it was in the prime. Spring. In the spring, yes. right? Mm. This is a little tough for conditions. Alright, here we okay, go. Okay, if you get one, two Okuma rods. Alright. There he is, bitch! Oh, there he is. Oh, get off me! Oh. Because of where I placed you in the boat, I set him up perfectly to get one. Oh. Is it a nice one? It's a nice one. Oh, it, it is a nice one. It's biting good. Coming down, boys. Can we both? Oh, it is nice. Can we both? Uh, not a bad smallie. Two rods, oh, baby. Oh, Woo! Oh, <laughs> oh, that was so dumb. Didn't you hear the confidence I was speaking with? <laughs> Marlon laughed at me when I pulled the old tube out. Look at old red eye. Probably, what do you think, pound and a half? Yeah, probably. Right in there. Beautiful fish, man. Hey, buddy. Charles, you getting bit or what? That's all I did. It's hard to tell though the wind. That wind is Here's what I'll do is I'll Get us in there closer. Yeah, I'm gonna slide us back over here, and then you can cast forward off the boat, and the wind will be in your back. Oh, that was a decent one too. That was a nice one. See what I mean about the slow drag? It's nice and slow until you feel them like latch on. Oh my god, Ooh, did you see, see that? that? One, yeah. Right on the Came surface. up and hit the top water, dude. He like hit my line. It did, it like ate your line. Dude, it makes me think you could put like a stick bait on or something on the top and then mash it. Oh, you. That was one for sure. I missed him. He was knit, he was hitting it good, and then he just took it. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it got hit like three times. There he is. Oh, oh man. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh, he was big too. Oh, it's big. Dude, just on the little twitchy twitch. I had all but given up, addicts. This is what happens when you get lazy and you freaking give up. Pop off bangs and all That's a chunky mom. Oh, that's a little one pounder up. The old boat flip. Ah. That's a nice one. To win the bass championship. <laughs> I Look guess at that he, one's eye. That one's eye is seriously red. That is crazy. Nice looking fish though. God, they fight hard. Dude, I'm making a bass day out of this. Bass pro papa. You know, you guys thought I was just a salmon or steelhead guy. Obviously, I don't know how to cast the reel, but that's cool. Comes with it. 
All right, guys, just got done fishing, just got done filming our uh, last tutorials and just got back to the dock and we're gonna fillet up these fish and get ready to make some fish tacos. So stay tuned, a little Gerber action, a little walleye, dinner time. All right, addicts, well, we hope you enjoyed that episode of Addicted Life. Let us know if you guys want to see more walleye stuff. We hope to do a bunch more walleye in the future and bring out a bunch of walleye tutorials. Yeah. They're a fun fish to, to fish for. And you're doing a bunch awesome. of trips and teaching people more if they want to get out yeah, too, right? Absolutely. If you guys want to get out, man, you can look me up. Give me a call, 503-484-4860. Look me up on Facebook, reach out to Marlin, whatever. I'd love to have you out. Exactly, Peel the Real Guide service. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. We appreciate it. As always, we're giving you an opportunity to win an addicted prize pack. You just gotta share this episode out there. Give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment below, whatever it may be. Any sort of comment, just that's how we're picking is from the comments below. So drop, if you don't a, drop comment a comment about the two poles I won today. <laughs> oh, jeez. Totally forgot about that one. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next week. See you on the water, guys.